name is Paulina and today we're gonna talk about different fairy books. We're in springtime and why not? I don't know about you, but I really love fairies. I have a really big fairy book collection. I, I don't know if it's really big, but I have a few fairy books. <laughs> I have some that are like for children, but then I have also other fairy books that are um, more based on lore or religious beliefs or just history and stories, which is really cool. Um, so uh, we're in springtime, so it's kind of the, a really cool time to talk about the Fae. Let me start with first with like the kids books that I have. This book is based off on the Cottonly Fairies. Um, this is more of a spin-off, <laughs> which is really cool. There's a few of them actually. Um, I really like this one. It's a pop-up book. I think it's just one of the prettiest books I have. I had to buy this used, um, but I really, really like it. You can see some photos here and um, it's, ex it's extremely beautiful. I showed this to kids and they love it. They have to find the fairies. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, beautiful garden. I'm just quickly going through it because I do have a lot of books to go through. I might not go through every page, um, but it is quite beautiful. Oh yeah, do you see that? The Success Herald from the Cottonly Fairies, which is really cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the next book. Um, this one is Fairyopolis. This is another spin-off of the Cottonly Fairies. I have, I have a few of those actually. Um, this one, um, you can see it has a lot of writing. So this is technically still like a, I would consider this like kid, kid friendly. Maybe an older child, uh, like middle school, um, because there is a lot of cursive writing and a lot of reading. It's not as interactive as the other one. I mean, it does, it does have really cool thing. Like, um, really cool. Um, it does have really cool parts. And in this case, this is a map, <laughs> as you can see. It's very historical on that story. Um, let me go ahead and show you a little bit more. Oh, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay. It talks about different trees that you might be able to find them. I have to reread this. It's been a while since I have a story. It's very beautiful, aesthetically pleasing. I really love the cursive writing on here. Um, it's still, it has a lot of like sensories. You can touch that and you can feel the glitter, the pixie dust. Um, it's very, very pretty. Okay, so I have finished with this one. So let me go ahead and show you the next one. This one I got new. This one I also got new, but I paid a little bit extra for to, for it to be new, it was in plastic. I think it was like a bookstore that had it online on Amazon. Um, but this one is another spinoff of the Cottonly Fairies. Um, this is Magical Doors. So these are all the doors that you can possibly find them. Oh, look, you can see them running. This is really cute to read to a, uh, a younger child. Look at that, oh, so pretty. Here. <laughs> You can see all the little doors where you can find the fairies. This is really cute to, to read to a child. Um, oh, and the fairy, here's the quiet place. It's very, very like um, beautiful. The fairies look so gorgeous. Um, here's a door, you can pull this. Very, very beautiful. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Um, here's some clothes. Here's some fairy clothes. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this. This one's very pretty. It's a little pop-up. Very, very beautiful. I love books like these. Okay, the next one I have is a continuation of the Cottonly Fairies and um, that story. But these are for adults. <laughs> these are not kid-friendly. Warning, <laughs> warning, these are not kid friendly whatsoever. Um, this is a continuation of the story, um, but these are made for adults. Um, there are some images here that I would not uh, necessarily <laughs> give to a kid. So we're gonna start first um, with this one. So Lady Coddington's fairy album, and um, it, 
this is a spinoff with Brian Froud. I really love this book. I bought it used, but it's basically like new. Um, it's very beautiful. This one has many pages. Um, so I'll just show you, as you can see, the, the fairy is not wearing any clothes. Um, but it also has like um, pictures and dates. It's a really nice story. It's very interesting for sure. Um, this one's a longer book, so I won't be going from page to, I won't be doing every page. And then here's an envelope with a note for you. Ooh, a little secret note. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. And then the other one is very similar, actually. This is the fairy album, but this one is the 10th anniversary edition Lady Connie's pressed fairy book. So that she supposedly used to press them <laughs> into the fairy book. <laughs> As you can see, the fairy squashed. Again, this is not for kids. Um, I would not, this one is, these are for adults, I would say, or maybe young adults or older teenagers, <laughs> but not for kids. These are not, I would not consider these kids friendly. Um, they are not wearing clothes. Also, story is inappropriate for children. <laughs> And they actually even had a section that they closed off because the first book, a lot of people loved it, but it got it got a lot of backlash because parents bought it thinking it was for kids. It was not for kids. Um, so they even put a protection of innocence um, to these pages because there's a lot of nudity here. Um, I don't know how YouTube feels about it because it's still just a drawing. But just, you know, there's just a lot of nudity in these sections. And a DVD, I still haven't opened the DVD. And this is cool, I'll just, I like leaving it here because it's kind of cool that it has this. I'll, I'll look through it and then I'll put this back. <laughs> um, I really want to look at the DVD, it's apparently. I, it's just Brian Froud being funny. <laughs> apparently he caught fairies. Um, but yeah, this is really, really cool. He did this one with Terry Jones. I'm a really big fan of Brian Froud. Okay, so now we're just gonna go into a lot of more Brian Froud's work. It's not gonna be related to cotton, the cotton leaf fairies anymore though. So, um, I have fairy tales. I love this book. So these are um, different fairies. As you can see, his images of the fae are very, very different. Um, and they all have a story behind them. So they, they, he says that the, he met these fairies and they told them the stories. Or his wife, Wendy Frau. I don't remember. I, it's something like that. But yeah, the, he saw the images of these fairies and he drew them with the stories. And it's very interesting. They all look very different. Okay, so, oh, oh it's caught in my hair. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do the next one. Okay, I think this one's actually my favorite Brian Froud fairy book, and I bought it used. I just really like it. And again, mm, I don't know if I would say this one's for children because it kind of looks scary. It doesn't have anything bad in it though. It's cute. If you're, I mean, my dad when I was growing up, he used to show me the creepiest things ever. <laughs> and my grandma too, she loved horror. So I don't know, it just depends on the parents. But this is how to see fairies. And you can see there's a fairy there. And um, this book talks about portals and how to see them. And they're very, very cute. I love it. And it has, I think it even has um, some glasses that you can wear at one point. Um, oh, look at this one. Ooh, scary. <laughs> so you can see the depiction of fairies is changing. Um, does it have the glasses? I have not seen. No, I don't think these have the glasses. I haven't read this book in a while. But yeah, so this book is very, very beautiful. It has a lot of things in it. It's very interactive and you have to like find the fairies within all the drawings. It's really, really pretty. I love this one. This is my favorite book from Brian Froud. Okay, so. Here is another Brian Froud fairy book. Good fairies, bad fairies. Ooh, this one's really, really cool because it's divided on 
it's like a, it's kind of like an encyclopedia for fairies. So you can see, oh, here, here's Ryan Froud. Uh, so you can see, uh, he'll give a description of all types of fairies in different realms, of all types of fairies, and um, if they're good, if they're bad. Um, here we go. Sea leaves, oh, here's bad. As you can see, it's very, it's a very interesting book. I really like this one too. I think I like this one more than I like fairy tales, um, but my favorite is still this one. Okay, from Brian Proud. This one's really cute. The, okay, uh, I don't have anything else that is from Brian Proud, so we're gonna move, keep moving on. Um, this one is the Fairy Handbook. It's so cute. I have the mermaid handbook too. And it's funny because um, in some religions, they consider mermaids to be fae, which is interesting. As you can see in some of these books, fairy is spelled like this, or it's spelled like this. Um, it just depends on the origin uh, of these stories and also the beliefs of the the people who are writing them because there's so many takes and so much lore and there's actual religious beliefs behind it so it's very interesting okay so this one is the fairy handbook um it's so cute i love it it's an enchanting compendium of literature lore art recipes and projects and it's so many cute things it talks about the history of it talks about lore it talks about it has it has arts and crafts projects I think it it, it even have it might have meals I don't know I have to check but it's extremely beautiful it's very very gorgeous I love it I love these compendiums I have the mermaid one too um yeah it's absolutely gorgeous I love it okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one down so the next thing I have, since you already saw it, <laughs> uh, it's, oh, I got in Barnes and Nobles, but it was coming out, so I just took it off. Um, the Irish Fairy and Folk Tales. So um, in Ireland, there are so many people who do believe in fairies. A lot of people fear them, or a lot of people, they, they have different beliefs. Um, all, across the world, all across the world, there are people who do believe, and they have different rules for them. Um, this book, actually, I started reading it, and in the beginning, it comes from, uh, it, it talks about what people used to believe were fairies, but it, it's written by like a non-believer. It's about um, the fairy lore in Ireland, but there are still people in Ireland who do believe in the fae or the little people. There's so many names for them um, and respect them. Okay, so, oh, um, there are many little stories, but it, there's no pictures or anything. It's just stories on, just Irish, Irish fairy stories. Okay, so this one was interesting. Um, this one, so this one is from like an Ireland's point of view, from a non-believer, but this one um, is from a believer, but it's like a pagan point of view. Point of view which I thought was interesting too. I've only read the beginning of it, but it is it looks really cool, um, but it's, it's different. People have different beliefs, and um, this is kind of like her take on fairy folk, which is really cool. Okay, so um, now I have two magazines. <laughs> so I thought these magazines were very, very cute. Let me start with this one. Oh, the Connolly Fairies. <laughs> Um, I thought these were really pretty. I, they just have really pretty images and um, it does have a few articles in here, but I just really like it. It also gives a story on the Connolly fairy case, which is really cool. People did believe that the fairies on, in those pictures were real. <laughs> and then you also have Enchanted Living, um, but this is about fairies too, the, um, which is really cool. Um, they have like fairy cocktails and different things. It's really cool. 
Um, I, did, I really like the images, as you can see. It has really cool images. Here are the other compendiums. I have uh, also the mermaid one. I don't have the unicorn one, but the unicorn one does seem pretty cool. Here's the mermaid one. It's not fairy specifically, but I know in uh, many beliefs, they consider mermaids to be fae also. So I'm just kind of showing you real quickly. Um, but besides that, I don't have any more books. I have this, my sister, she got me this. She thought it was really cute because she knows that I really like fairies and fairy things. Um, so um, these are different fairies and they're kind of like oracle cards um, that give you advice. Let me see if I can pull one out. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, this one just came up. Let's see. Ooh, it says, Take control of your quest. Choose your companions wisely. So this advice is for you. Choose your companions wisely. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed my video. I have a lot of fairy things. I've always loved them. I thought they were super cute. I was obsessed with the tooth fairy when I was a kid. <laughs> if you did like this video, please give me a like and subscribe. I hope to see you soon. Keep spreading the positivity. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello there, if you like this one, here's my next video, be sure to check it out!